The receptors are the sensory or the efferent nerve endings that terminate in the periphery as a bare unmyelinated nerve endings or in the form of the specialized and the receptors function like a biological transducers. That means the transducer is a device which converts one form of the energy into the another. So the receptors are often defined as the biological transducers which convert various forms of the energy that is the stimuli that is stimulated from the environment into the action potential of the nerve fiber. And now let's learn about the properties of the receptors. The first property is the specificity of the response that is the Muller's law. The Muller's law refers to the response that is given by a particular type of the receptor to a particular sensation. Like for example, the pain receptors give response only to the pain sensation that means the specific sensation and similarly the temperature receptors give response only to the temperature sensation. And in addition to the each type of sensation depends upon the part of the brain in which the fibers terminate. And this specificity of the response is also called as the Muller's doctrine of the specific nerve energies. The second properties of the receptors is the adaptation that is the sensory adaptation. The adaptation is the decline in the discharge of the sensory impulses when a receptor is stimulated continuously with a constant strength. So when the receptor is stimulated continuously with a constant strength, it leads in the decline in the discharge of the sensory impulses. And this is called as the sensory adaptation and it is also called as the desensitization. And depending upon the adaptation time, the receptors are further divided into two types. The phasic receptors and the tonic receptors. The phasic receptors are the receptors which get adapted rapidly to the touch and pressure receptors. And the tonic receptors are the receptors which adapt slowly and the examples are the muzzle spindle, the pain receptors and the cold receptors. The third property of the receptors and the third property is the response to increase in strength of the stimulus. It is the weber frenchner law. It is very important to remember. So during the stimulation of a receptor, if the response given by a receptor is to be doubled, the strength of the stimulus must be increased a hundred times. And this phenomenon is known as the weber frenchner law. And this weber frenchner law states that intensity of response of a receptor is directly proportional to the logarithmatic increase in the intensity of the stimulus. So it states So the derivation of the Weber Frenchner law is R is equals to K log S where the R is the intensity of the response or the sensation this is the sensation the K is the constant and the S is the intensity of the stimulus. So this derivation indicates the intensity of a response is directly proportional to the log arithmetic increase in the intensity of the stimulus. And the next property is the sensory transduction. The sensory transduction in a receptor is a process by which the energy in the environment is converted into the electrical impulses in the nerve fiber. The sensory transduction in a receptor is a process by which the energy or the stimulus in the environment is converted into the electrical impulses or the action potential in the nerve fiber. And the next property is the receptor potential. The receptor potential is a non-propagated transmembrane potential difference that develops when a receptor is stimulated. For a video on the receptor potential, you can click on the I button. And the last property is the law of projection. 
when a sensory pathway from the receptor to the cerebral cortex is stimulated on any particular site along its course, then the sensation that is caused by the stimulus is always felt at the location of the receptor, irrespective of the site that is stimulated. This phenomenon is known as the law of projection. So when a sensory pathway from the receptor to the cerebral cortex is stimulated on any particular site along its course, the sensation caused by the stimulus is always felt at the location of the receptor that is present irrespective of the site stimulated. So the example is if the somatostatic area in the right cerebral cortex which receives the sensation from the left hand is the phantom limb. The sensations complained by an amputated patient in the missing limb is the best example for the law of projection. For example, if a leg have been amputated, the cut end heals the scar formation and the cut end of the nerve fiber are merged with the scar. If the cut end of the sensory fiber are stimulated during the movement of the thigh, the patient feel as if the sensation is originating from the non-existent leg and sometimes the patient feel pain in the non-existing limb. And this phenomenon is called as the phantom limb pain. So this is the best example for the law of and this is all about the receptors, interoceptors, extroreceptors and the properties of the receptors. If you like my video, do subscribe to my channel.